Can I help you? Why, yes, yes, you can. I'm here to report a terrible crime. And what terrible crime is that? This one. Hello, Gothamites, and welcome to the Gotham Knight channel. I am your host, the Gotham Knight. And in today's show, what I want to go ahead and touch base on is news is making that Margot Robbie is done as Harley Quinn. And I want to I want to get to those right away because apparently a lot of people that are talking actually didn't know or actually go to the source. And you guys know me. I'm only going to speak the truth. I'm going to give it to you straight the way it is. And I mean, if you don't like it, I mean, you got to deal with it. But here is the truth about Margot Robbie and the role of Harley Quinn. So let me build a little backstory here. So what started off uh, a day or two ago were people were coming out saying Harley Quinn's done. She's done as Harley Quinn. She's done as Harley Quinn. She's not coming back. I, it doesn't say that anywhere. So let me read to you what sparked this up and what brought up this conversation and give you the correct information. Okay. So Margot Robbie had spoke to entertainment weekly and they're doing all the press junket right now with guns, uh, suicide squad movie. That's coming out really soon. And of course, all the actors are going to be doing the press junket and doing their rounds and answering questions. And they asked her point blank, the, the role and what to expect. And this is what she said word for word. Margot Robbie said it was kind of back to back filming birds and filming this. So it was kind of like, oof. I need a break from Harley because she's exhausting. I don't know where we're going, uh, uh, going to, we're next going to see her. I'm just as treated as everyone else is. So with that bit of information, it's not that she's giving up the role, but we also know that DC doesn't have a roadmap. Okay. We know that lots of things are in the air right now because the uh how, how do you say this i don't want to say merger or or basically discovery taking over um warner brothers of course they're learning everything about what warner brothers is doing and everything that that goes right there so she's saying that she's just taking a hiatus now keep in mind that Suicide, Suicide Squad was done filming a while. So she's been on a break for a while right now. And for, for her, um, the, she's perfect. I, I think she's absolutely perfect for Harley Quinn. And, um, I can imagine what has been going on between the, the Birds of Prey and then going right into James Gunn's Suicide Squad. Um, and we're starting to learn reports that uh, the director that was for Birds of Prey actually had a lot of things cut and, and a lot of things that were uh, removed and edit. And you're starting to see how ugly Warner Brothers has been to their the directors and the creators uh we know that there's a ayers cut that's out there don't know if we we'll ever see it and now we are starting to find out um from the director about uh birds of prey and how birds of prey was handled and how wb is just mistreating um creators now james gunn had full reign because well, his success with uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. And this just leaves a lot of questions as to what were fans never given? What, what, was, what was Warner Brothers thinking as far as, uh, hey, we want 
a movie to be successful, but we're going to be the ones to stepping in. You don't tell a comic book artist what lines to draw and you don't tell him uh, or her uh, what uh, what scene to take because it's their interpretation as an artist. Directors are the same way and directors have a vision. They have a form of storytelling and it's all about storytelling. This is what it comes down to. Whether you're a director in a movie, you're an artist or a writer in comics, you're a storyteller and it's how well fans respond to you by your story and how your story uh, telling ability is. And I, I'm just so disgusted with Warner Brothers and how they've been with uh, directors and creators. So I don't blame uh, Margot Robbie say, hey, you know what? I'm going to take a break. Why? Because there's no roadmap. There's no roadmap. The DC Universe has not shown any roadmap towards this. And it's sad. It, it's sad. It, it makes you think, like, how lucky Disney is to have Kevin Feige, who's an actual nerd fan also, um, outlining the these different phases for Marvel. And um, even in the reports, I know that uh, that it came out that Margot Robbie had said that, you know, there's no roadmap for the, you know, the DC extended universe. Uh, there's none. There's no one leading that uh, ability to to have that for for Warner Brothers and DC and we can just keep going round and round and you know the things that were wrong with it but I wanted to set that record straight Margot Robbie is not done with the role of Harley Quinn she just doesn't know what's the next DC movie she doesn't know and all she's just telling you is that she went from filming one movie into another movie and she's just taking a little break and really honestly hopes to see or hear what's the next move. And I guarantee you is I believe it's August 6th when Suicide Squad hits. When Suicide Squad hits, it's going to be a, a movement of moving DC films forward. But also, I know that the DC side... They're waiting for this Flash movie because this Flash movie is going to completely open everything. But I will not doubt that once Suicide, once Suicide Squad hits, we're going to hear a multitude of different titles, different rumblings about films. So that's going to be a big thing. And then at DC Fandom, we're going to find out some more information. So stay tuned to all that, guys. So uh, please stay on the channel please like and subscribe thank you so much for the the current subscribers i mean we're almost to a thousand guys so uh once we reach a thousand we're gonna have a cool prize uh i know i think last check we're sitting at 320 subscribers so please hit that like subscribe button one of you is gonna have a chance to win something very cool and of course it's got to be a batman so let's get to that th thousand subscribers, guys. And thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for the growth. And uh, let's keep going. It. Let's keep doing it. Let's keep bringing the world and showing the world that uh, why Batman is the greatest superhero of all time. So, all right, Gothamites. I'll check you guys later. Have a wonderful day out in Gotham. Take care. Ah, shit. I told this all wrong. Quick history lesson.